everyone, welcome back to Figure Fantasy. So today we are going to go be going over the build and strategy guide for Norris. Let's start off first with her skills, guys, uh, with her basic attack. So Noble Hound, range is going to be six slots. Upgrade effect is uh, level two and three, a total of plus 50% basic attack boost damage next is going to be her ultimate skill with bombarding massacre initial energy is 10 attacks the last enemy in the same row as the current target and marks it until the battle ends fully replenishes Norris energy when the marked enemy is defeated the mark cannot be removed by purification so this skill or this ultimate skill is very good to assassinate or to snipe out those pesky backline that you need to take out uh, instead of the front line. So um, she might be a good X factor in terms of uh, winning battles for you. As long as you've given her multiple copies of herself, she's going to be, you know, she's, she's going to get better as soon as she increases um, her tier. Right now she's at um, Ultra. Um, I still haven't gotten her up to peach even one star. So upgrade effect is level two, boost damage by 15%. Also boost the power of Norris's next ultimate by 30% when the marked enemy is defeated. So next ultimate after the mark has been defeated will be a plus 30% in damage. Level three is boosts damage by 10% when the mark enemy is defeated deals a great amount of damage to the enemies next to it. So at level 3, there is a ricochet ready for the ultimate skill. So again, what she excels at is also a ricochet AoE damage for her ultimate. So let's move on to her passive skill. Her passive is going to be Dark Executioner. Basic attacks have a 30% chance that to attack the current enemy and have the pro projectile bounce to an enemy in, in the line behind it. So it's, it's, there's a chance that it could pass through her peers, then hit um, the, the figure behind it, be, behind her target. Each bounce boosts damage by 30% and stacks up to two times. So damage might be boosted up to 60% because it stacks up two times. The chance will be adjusted by the figurine's accuracy bonus. So if you want to increase it more, you need to increase her accuracy bonus as well. Upgrade effect level 2 stuns the target for 0.3 seconds and each bounce extends the duration by 0.3. So this is actually kind of an add-on already to what she can do. And level 3 triggers one time after unleashing the ultimate but can't be stacked. Special PS. So if there's a space between the enemy hit and the next one, the bounce spread will stop. So take note, they have to be bunched for this to trigger. So if you take a look at both ultimate and passive skill, including basic skill, um, Norris will be prized more for her ultimate skill. So her passive and basic attack will just be gravy and additional, you know, additional damage to to uh, her kit. And let's take a look at her special. So Graceful Posture boosts damage by 15% when there is no surrounding enemies. So this is just a boost of attack and critical chance. Boost damage by 25% when there are no enemies around. So take note, you bring Norris for her ultimate, nothing else. She is going to have to spam her ultimate for her to be very effective in your matchup so next is we're going to discuss her strengths and weaknesses so as you can see here attack is really decent at a uh, defense is good health needs a lot of love because again it's not only her that has a lot of damage at the back you have their zarola you cannot although zarola and her can have a head-to-head -head, but Definitely with her getting, you know, uh, having a hard time getting copies, she'll be, she'll definitely be lower in terms of um, tiering, especially right now that she is night nine. Um, but again, uh, whatever matchup that she has, definitely health will have to be boosted. So health will, will be boosted through your sub stats. 
Okay, let's take a look at her parts, uh, gear. So her gear is going to be, the recommended gear would be ultimate, ultimate uh, skill set, which I have already. Then you have critical, which is this one. And the other one is will set. Will is uh, critical, critical damage increase. This one is critical rate increase. So... Um, if you want my recommendation, as you can see here, critical damage is already okay. Um, her base will be at the 180. You do, don't really need to increase her critical damage. What you really to need to increase is her critical rate because at her base is at 35. With all of the buffs that I have already, she is at 60% already to trigger her critical damage. So, um, again... Uh, might as well go with crit, uh, especially if you could increase her crit up to probably around 70%. That would be better. So these are my recommended uh, gear for her. Only three choices. So you have um, primarily ultimate. Um, th th this is a four-piece set. Then you have uh, critical rate or crit set, critical set to complement your ultimate okay so for her badge the ultimate the the most recommended uh, badge for her for you to get the most out, out of her ultimate is this one so end time reverence badge boosts the first ultimate power by 20 percent so additional attack and hp bonuses as well um uh, as long as your badge complements her her ultimate, you can actually use that badge. But for me, I'm going to be using this, and this is actually one of the most uh, recommended badges for her. Okay, guys. So for ideal team comp, uh, mainly she is going to complement your Tenma team, just in case that you need more firepower for Tenma. Um, you can really splash her with any team as long as, you know, as long as your objective is to really clear mobs. Um, you have to have a big front line for her to be successful, like uh, have enough. Uh, if, if the tank that is going to come out for Galatea is going to be coming out soon then you can actually pair that tank with her. So for the meantime, aside from aside from Galatea, you can pair her with Tenma. So you have um, you have Crusus then for let's red you have Megan. So again pair her with a, a very tanky front line so that uh, your you know uh, she will be protected enough that she won't be reached by the melee of your enemies of course um again th there's a big chance that uh, range units will be able to reach her but at this point you also need to give her enough hp and probably shields like for example if awi can give her a shield why not and also for figures that give her additional hp i think that would be her team comp and would really complement her especially for her survivability um don't compliment her on her attack um i think she needs more survivability at this point especially when it comes to team compositions okay so as for content um she would be perfect for mobs um code v would be one of the content that she could be good at i think this is only i think five uh five enemies but definitely she'll be excelling in azazel uh as the mobs come in waves she her ricochet or her aoe will really be very useful in clearing out uh, the pesky mobs that are attacking you and also one of the stages that i think she will Excel will also be Nightmare. So if you have a team for Nightmare and if you want to eliminate a certain backline, definitely you should bring her here. So currently this is uh, where I'm at for a certain stage for um, Nightmare. So I'm trying to take out this guy here because uh, he does healing so i put my norris in the center then i also added vazarwin here to complement her so 
Vazarin and Zarola will be able to complement each other, especially if you your aim is to take out the last figure in that row or in that column. So let's check this out. Um, see how this lineup fares. So again, um, you need a very, very tough lineup to, you know, to complement her. Uh, I don't have uh, somebody here for shield. So right now, I'm just relying so much on my firepower with Zarola and uh, Vazarwin. And more or less, as long as you get more copies of Norris, I don't think you'll, you know, you'll regret leveling her up. But she's really, really very niche in terms of what she does. But again, if you were able to get copies of her, I think she could be perfect in some of the stages. Okay, so my final thoughts for Norris. Um, she's not really a must-have at this point. Uh, unless if you really, really like her and if you want to be you want to have a specialist uh specialist uh, militarist <laughs> actually sorry uh i don't want to confuse you guys if you want to have a militarist that can specialize in taking out the last line of your enemies then she will be your answer because she also provides aoe damage to the other figures beside your initial target so again not not a must have because only of her brand or her faction she's with night nine and definitely a hard faction to get copies of so at this point um if you're lucky and you're able to get other copies of her definitely please do level her up as long as you don't really have to work hard for her copies um so that is it that is just her drawback and also um she is she really specializes in certain you know in certain content you can't really bring her in uh, the big three because those are mainly bosses you can really take advantage of her ultimate especially in mobs and waves as well okay guys so that is it for norris's strategy and build so if you are still here please do consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot. Thank you guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.